Odyssey of the Dragon is a weekly documentary series produced in the context of China's Belt and Road Initiative and Going Out strategies. The series went on air in January 2016 on Phoenix TV and quickly became a flagship documentary program of the Belt and Road Initiative. Our team has visited over 100 countries, covered over 400 cases and produced over 200 episodes in the past four years. Meanwhile, we actively promote ideas and practices of sustainable development, building platforms and organizing forums for governments, international organizations, third-party organizations, scholars and corporations to participate in and cooperate on sustainable development issues to put our vision into action. In 2016, while shooting a documentary program in Myanmar, we learned that a number of Chinese corporations had engaged in alternative planting. In the Golden Triangle, where the borders of Thailand, Laos and Myanmar meet at the confluence of the Ruak and Mekong rivers. Poppy seed plantation was once the local people's primary source of income. Illicit drug trafficking and production were rampant, but the farmers remained poor. Alternative planting in this context means crop substitution, replacing poppy cultivation with other cash crops. Sugarcane, bananas, mulberry trees and coffee beans are some of the common alternative crops. A structured and well-regulated production link can create jobs and drive economic development effectively reducing the local population's dependence on the illicit drug economy and help achieve the final goal of eradicating poppy plantation. In Myanmar's Shan State, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, NGOs and various social enterprises are working to help farmers replace poppy plantation with Arabica coffee beans and engaging in capacity building activities to improve water and electricity supply facilities. Inspired by these initiatives, Odyssey of the Dragon introduced a pilot project called Bon Cafe Plus. With the resources of Phoenix TV, Odyssey of the Dragon's efforts in promoting sustainable development and the capacities of Chinese enterprise, we hope different companies will join us in the Myanmar program to further realize the concept of corporate social responsibility. Bon Cafe Plus aims to set up a production chain to connect farmers, international organizations, corporations, media and consumers to strengthen corporate social responsibility of Chinese enterprises investing in sustainable farm products in Myanmar and to create a self-sustaining agriculture for farmers while promoting the industrialization of Myanmar's coffee industry. More importantly, we hope to continue to introduce new productive means to drug-dependent villages through alternative planting and to mitigate the impact of war and conflicts through economic development. Bon Cafe Plus is also a pilot project to explore new development models for cooperation amongst international organizations, the private sector, the media, NGOs and communities. We look forward to your participation in Bon Cafe Plus to create shared values and sustainable development.